this recipe is for sausage rolls so because I want these to cook quite quickly I've got my oven turned on already so my oven is on 190 gas mark 5 and in my bowl I have 175 grams of plain flour and then I've got 40 grams of a mixture of two fats it's up to you what fats you use I like to use a mixture of fats I like to have some butter or margarine in short crust pastry because it gives colour and flavour but I also like to use a little bit of white vegetable fat this is white vegetable fat not lard or you can use lard because that helps to make the pastry short and the fats just need roughly cutting up and putting into your bowl if you then just toss those in the flour to start with, please don't spend ages chopping them up into tiny little bits. It's not going to make that much of a difference. And then we need to rub in. And rub in, to rub in, you need to make your hand into a little scoop. You scoop some of the flour and fat and you rub with your fingertips. So, scoop, get some fat, some flour and rub thumbs over fingertips and you do this with both hands until the mixture looks like breadcrumbs and while you're rubbing this in you are coating the flour grains in a layer of fat which helps to prevent them from absorbing too much water this is short crust pastry short means crumbly and to make this pastry crumbly and not tough you need to make sure that you don't have too much water and that you have coated your flour grains in fat. So you can see I'm lifting this up a little bit, not right out of the bowl because I'm trying to keep the mixture inside the bowl. And with my palms inside the bowl, hands still inside the bowl, you can turn the bowl around. If you're not sure, if all of your fat has been rubbed into your flour or if there's any large lumps of fat yet left all you need to do is just shake the bowl and any large lumps will come up to the surface and make it easier for you to see so the flour as you can see should be changing to a slightly yellowy colour and it looks like breadcrumbs when it's starting to stick together. Don't go so far that this mixture actually starts sticking together. And having done that, I'm just going to wash my hands before I do the next section of the pastry. Okay. I've now got clean hands again and my pastry looks like breadcrumbs so it's now time to add the water. You add one teaspoon of water for every 25 grams of flour for short crust pastry. I've got 175 grams of flour here which would be seven teaspoons of water so I've just got a bit of cold water in my jug and I'm just going to use my measuring spoons to put in two tablespoons to start with. A tablespoon of water is the same as three teaspoons it's the equivalent to three teaspoons so i'm going to start with six and see just how much water this is going to absorb and really the only way you can tell with this is to put your hands in and start squeezing and i think it's just going to need a tiny little bit more so I am just going to put in the last teaspoon of water before I go too far and get that all mixed into one dough. Stir your water into your pastry with a knife and that way you don't get a lump of dry pastry in the bowl of a spoon. And once you've put all your water in, you can put your hand in and just knead this gently, just squash it all together, squeeze it together and you should find that your 
bowl is clean and you have a nice ball of pastry in your bowl. There we go, so one clean bowl, one ball of pastry. Because I want to roll this, I'm just going to knead it lightly first of all, and then because I'm making sausage rolls, I'm going to need to roll this out into a rectangle. So I'm not going to spend too much time kneading it. And I'm just going to put a light sprinkling of flour on the worktop. If I want it to be a rectangle when I finish, it helps if it's a rectangle or a square when you start. So my rolling pin, I'm just going to put a little bit of flour that was on my hand, rub that over, and you roll once away from you and turn your pastry through 45 degrees and you need to try and keep the pressure on the rolling pin even. If your pastry starts to crack at the edges you can just pinch it back together and you can reshape your pastry at any point. So I'm just going to reshape that again to a rectangle, a little bit more flour underneath and a tiny bit of flour on the top. So once and turn and I'm going to continue with this until the pastry is nice and thin. I don't want it to be too thick for sausage rolls. If at any point you try to move your pastry and it sticks, just put a little bit more flour underneath it. But we want this pastry to be hopefully about the thickness of a ten pence piece or a coin. I don't want it to be too thick. Once you've actually got your pastry to shape, you can go backwards and forwards a little bit, but I've got nice thin pastry there, ready to be shaped and made into my sausage rolls. I have sausages to make my sausage rolls with, but you can use sausage meat if you like. You need about 150 grams of sausages for this amount of pastry, which would normally be about three sausages. If you've got sausages with the skin on, the easiest way to do this, I know some places tell you to squeeze the sausage out of the skin, but that can be really messy. If you make a mark like that, you can just peel the sausage skin off. And then actually, unless you wanna make it thinner, that is ideal for making your sausage rolls. So I'm just gonna show you one line to start with because it's easier to make your sausages, sausage rolls, a line at a time. So I'm going to use two sausages here and they just about fit the width of my pastry. So I've just squeezed them a little tiny bit thinner so that they nearly go to the edge of the pastry and then because that's raw meat, just washing my hands before I pick up any more of the equipment. So down the edge of the pastry, where it's a little bit uneven, I'm just going to trim that up so that I have a nice straight edge there, a nice straight edge on that side, and a nice straight edge across the top. I haven't taken away loads of the pastry, and I'm now going to use the rest of my water to just paint in front of the sausage roll with water so that when I roll this up the sausage roll is going to stick. So I have, here we go, so I've got the pastry, sausage meat that I've just made into the right length for that and in front of it is wet and all you need to do is just pick up your short crust pastry, press it gently on top of 
the sausage that you've rolled and roll that forward. And because this is short crust pastry, I'm just going to cut that off about a centimetre in front of that roll and just roll that under. And this will be the top of the sausage roll. This edge with the join will be underneath. So that is one roll of my sausage roll made and then I'm going to do exactly the same on the next piece. So my second roll of sausage is done. I've put the two sausages on there. I've just rolled this a little bit thinner before I did it. I'm going to brush in front with water and then exactly the same. Roll this up squash the pastry into the sausage meat, roll that over so that the join is at the bottom and then using my sharp knife I'm just going to cut these to size. It is up to you how big you want them. I'm just going to cut these into eight. as I say it's entirely up to you and then normally on sausage rolls we would cut or slash the top of the pastry before it goes in the oven and I'm trying to keep my finger out the way but hold the sausage roll still so that you can see what I'm doing so just slash the top of the sausage roll for decoration there we go those are going onto a baking tray making sure that this join is underneath and then the last thing that needs to be done to these is they need, that one seems to have rolled a bit, they need to be glazed. So I have an egg and obviously one egg is going to be far too much for the sausage rolls that I've made for the six or eight that you will make. However, you can share an egg and I'm just going to use my pastry brush, which I've already got out. Just whisk that up a little bit and then put that back so that you can see. And then I'm going to just glaze these all over before they go into the oven. If you've got baking parchment, you can put baking parchment underneath these if you wish to, if you think they might stick and make a mess of your tray. But these are going to go into the oven for just 15 to 20 minutes. And the oven is already hot because the first thing I did before I started making the pastry was to turn that oven on. And you can see I've got loads of egg left, so eggs can be shared. These are glazed into the oven to cook. Okay, the sausage rolls have had 15 minutes in the oven and 15 to 20 minutes. And you can see they're golden brown on the top where the egg has glazed. And if I tip the tray a little bit, you can possibly see there is some juice coming out from the sausage meat so I know the sausage meat has cooked through as well and the sausage meat on the ends is slightly um, browned. If you are uncertain about these you can of course use a temperature probe and you would want the core temperature right in the middle of the sausage meat to be 75 degrees before you were certain that they were cooked.